In the next part of the lecture, we're going to talk about Taylor polynomials. So what is a Taylor polynomial? So a Taylor polynomial is just a finite portion of the Taylor series, right? So Taylor series is an infinite construction. And if we stop it at some um, term of degree n, then we are going to get a Taylor pol polynomial of degree n. So basically, it's the, the same thing as a Taylor series, only Taylor series, well, has, well, plus infinitely more terms. Now, um, derivatives of order k um, of the Taylor polynomial are going to be the same as uh, derivatives of the function f itself uh, at the given point. Uh, for the order up to n. Well, by the way, it says from 1 to n, but it's actually true from, from 0 to n. So where the derivative of order 0 is the function itself. Um, now, the idea is that Taylor polynomials are somewhat similar to the linear, linearization of um, a function. So the linearization of a function is just a Taylor polynomial of degree 1. And well, a linear function is, you, you can think of it as a polynomial of degree one, right? So, and um, basically, um, just like linearization, so Taylor polynomials are going to be approximations for our function um, of, and by polynomials of higher degree, right? So if this degree one, then it's linearization. If it's degree two, then it's quadratic function and it is Taylor polynomial of degree two and so on, right? Um, so Taylor poly polynomial of degree 10 is basically is the best approximation of our function by any polynomial of degree 10 at, at a given point. So uh, here is an example. So how do we find Taylor polynomials of degree 3 and 4 for the given function? So basically what we need to do, we need to, uh, to find uh, derivatives of consecutive orders of the given function. So the function itself. Let me just write f. f is going to be 3. Well, it's given to be 3 times cosine of 2x. Then its first derivative is going to be, well, 3 times 2 is 6. Derivative of cosine is minus sine, so minus 6 sine 2x. f double prime is minus 12 cosine 2x. The third derivative is uh, 24 sine 2x and the fourth derivative and that that's all because um the, the question is about the Taylor polynomial of, of degree four so which means we can stop at the fourth derivative so the fourth derivative is 48 times cosine of 2x right so uh now we are looking at Taylor polynomials at pi so a equals pi, right? So what is the value at pi? So cosine of two pi, well, basically uh, when we uh, substitute pi as, as, as x into our um, uh, consecutive derivatives, uh, sine of um, a multiple of pi is zero. So we are going to, to get zeros here. And cosine, uh, every time we're going to have cosine of two pi and cosine of two pi, is the same as cosine of zero, which is one. So we are going to have three here, minus 12 and 48. All right, uh, so how do we find the corresponding coefficient? We also need to find um, n factorial, right? So what is n factorial? So zero factorial is one, one factorial is one, two factorial is two, three factorial is six, and four factorial is six times four is 24. All right, so now in order to find the coefficient, we've got to divide uh, the value of the derivative by the n by n factorial. So we're going to have three, zero minus six, zero, and forty-eight over twenty-four is two. Okay, so which is why, uh, which is how we get uh, t three is. Um, 3 plus 0 
I will just skip zero, so plus. The next term is, is minus six, so it's going to be minus six. Minus six times x minus five. The, this is a quadratic term because the derivative is of order two. Plus zero again, so I will skip the zero term, and that, that's it, so that, that's all. So this is t3 of x. So notice that uh, the polynomial, Taylor polynomial of order three is in fact a polynomial of degree two. That's just because uh, the coefficient at x uh, minus pi to the power three is just, just happens to be zero. All right, um, so how do we find Taylor's polynomial of degree four? Um, so basically we've, we've got to begin with the same thing. So three minus six x minus pi squared plus the term of degree four. Four, uh, so plus two times x minus five to the four. All right, so I hope it's clear. So this is the same thing um, printed as a nice table, and here is the answer.